good morning guys welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today we are going to discuss a very basic topic how to configure a desk library using the console console so guys uh, let's say there is a media agent that you have okay in your environment you have a media agent now this media agent will be having the multiple desks that you are going to acquire okay now when i say multiple desks there will be one dedicated desk that you will acquire for the os one dedicated desk that you will require for your ddb okay and there is a one dedicated desk that you will require for your indexing now uh let's say on this particular media agent what you have got it like one desk you will require for the index now let's say in your environment you have a external sand storage okay there is a sand storage that you have for example okay it can be a san or it can be a nas okay now there are two volumes that you have created there are volumes that you have created on this particular san or nas devices now you want to use these particular volumes okay you want to use these particular volumes as a backup target you want to use them as a backup target now what we are going to do is you are going to map these volume first of all to the media agent so that they appear as a local drive in there so that they appear as a local drive let's say it appears as a i drive and the h drive on the media agent now you want to configure this i drive and h drive as your backup target or i would say as a disk library so what you can do is guys you can simply go back to your console console you can go to the storage resources and under that there is an option coming up with the name libraries right click on that and say add and say add a disk library and over here give it a name let's say dl1 disk library 1 okay uh, select the media agent where you have mapped those particular paths so let's say i've mapped my uh, 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 h drive and i drive on this particular media agent now in the local drive in the local path disk device select that location guys if it's a nas in that case you're going to select na uh, network path but if it's a sand disk coming up or even if it's a dash a direct att attached storage where you have a local disk coming up on your media agent that you want to use as a backup target in both the cases you have to use it as a local path so i will browse it and select the h drive create a new folder inside it let's say mp1 okay and click on ok select this mp1 click on ok and that's it just say okay again now you will see there is a library with the name dl1 that will be created there is a disk library dl1 that has been created you can see the capacity of this disk library it's th uh, uh, almost 32 gb now if you want to check from where this particular 32 gb is coming up from the dl1 we right now remember that it's coming from the h drive right but might be you don't remember that tomorrow so you can go to the dl1 and you can see the path from where this particular dl1 is getting that space it's getting that space from the com server server h drive mp1 and guys this path from where you are get where from where this particular disk library is getting this space is called mount path now guys let's say tomorrow over the time this particular uh, uh, path will get consumed like all this particular storage will get consumed because you will be start writing down the new data to it now there is a new volume that has been given to you now you want to add that particular volume to this particular dl1 library so for that you can right click on the dl1 and you can say add mount path in there you can select the media agent where the new path has been mapped it's a local or network path so let's say it's a local path right now it's on the i drive select i drive create a new folder say mp2 say ok select mp2 click on ok and click on ok again now once you click on ok guys now you can see the dl1 has a increased capacity of 64 gb now if i select dl1 you can see there are two mount path coming up h drive and i drive from the comserv server and you can see the uh, 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 capacity uh, both the path are contributing so 32 gb is coming up from this path and 32 gb is coming from this path in this way you can add multiple mount path over there uh, there are the few best practices that you can keep in mind like you can uh, you remember that this uh, particular disk the H drive or I drive when they have been formatted they should be formatted to the block size of 64 KB okay uh, you can add multiple mount path uh, you add multiple mount path this is going to increase the overall performance for your backups in terms of backup as well as on the restoration front 
So guys, this is how you can create a disk library with the multiple mount path. This is how you can add a mount path in a disk library, existing disk library if you have. Thank you so much guys.